right yeah uh, this to... meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded to the town of amherst youtube channel by our wonderful it department at this time i want to recognize here shoshana king but i'm going to turn over hosting responsibility to terry holt is that correct yep that's fine all right yep. have a great meeting everyone thank, thank you thank you hi everyone hi, hi. let me put, uh, let me grab that thing i gotta read the thing robert brainen just joined the meeting okay. sorry i'm late hi robert hello so, just started per pursuant just... to chapter 20 of the act of 2021 this meeting will be conducted via remote means members of the public who wish to access the meeting can do so by clicking on the live link to the zoom meeting that can be found at the public meetings calendar on the town of amherst website or by dialing in by phone the public is able to comment during the public comment segment of this posted agenda by raising their hand this meeting will be recorded and will be posted to the town of amherst youtube channel Shana, do you have a copy of the agenda somewhere? Um, I have it like just written down on paper in front of oh, me. Okay. Um, okay. But it's on the um, town website. Like if ever there's a time anybody's oh. interested, they can go to the town website and then go to like, usually like scroll down and there's like this little calendar and you can click on the day that's our day. And if it's today, it's just going to be right there on the bottom. You click on our meeting and then it will bring you to our agenda and other stuff. <laughs> so, Jim, are you in the Himalayas? Thing. Sorry, say what? Huh? Are you in the Himalayas, Jim? Me? No. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's actually that's the Grand Canyon. I, oh, that, the Grand Canyon. I'm sorry. I couldn't see. I'm more. not. I love that picture. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, got the connectivity. The connectivity is amazing now in the world. I got up at two o'clock in the morning to take that thing because <laughs> it was taken at daybreak. Beautiful. All right. So public comments. We have a public comment is the first thing on the agenda, and it doesn't look like we have anyone from the public here that I can see. Right. Like no. Change our name to the Private Art Commission, I think, given the lack of <laughs> public interest in us and what we do. Uh, we'll show and them. Then... All right, we have so... minute approval. Yeah, I have the agenda approval. in front of me if it would help. Yeah, minute approval. Um, but I didn't get the minutes out to everybody. Oops. Yeah, yeah sorry. <clears throat> Um, okay. I guess we have January minutes that we need to approve. Um, last, last, last meetings and minutes were the ones. Does everybody have them? I don't have them. So I don't I have them. I didn't give them. I don't have them either. Oh. <laughs> and I, well, do you know, do you remember who took the minutes on in January? Yeah, me. I, I okay. took the minutes. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah, anyway. there was a there was a February meeting though. Right. I'm, oh, I'm the talking February February. meeting. Sorry. I took the minutes. Okay. We have to do oh. it February. But I sent them. I sent them to you, Jim, and I was hoping you'd know what to do with them. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, <coughs> before before next meeting, um, well, actually, I I won't be here, so it won't matter. I'm not gonna. Today is my last meeting. Um, but before the next meeting, um, Jim, if you could send those out to everybody, I'll do it tomorrow. Can take a look at them, and then we can um, we could approve them. All right, and share report. I guess my report is that, like today is my last meeting. <laughs> I'm not going to be the chair anymore. Oh, my oh we're so sad to see you going. <laughs> I know there's parts of this that like I just love but then there's I've got like uh, my life is like a house on fire right now and I just oh. need to 
like really, really concentrate on my career. That makes sense. You'll be missed. Well, building a career. <laughs> we hope that you, we can uh, contact you with questions and such because we'll have questions. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like I'm not falling off the face of the earth, but Great. Um, I'm definitely like circling my wagons. So thanks. I'm going to um, kick starting my new career. Yay. And okay, uh, so are you not going to be on the committee? Nope, I'm not going to be on the committee. There'll be a vacancy. <laughs> so aren't there actually, so with, with you leaving, first of all, thank you for everything you've done and um, best of luck. And then isn't there already a vacancy? No, uh, no not yet. No? No, no I, there will be. No, oh, because I thought I thought someone joined and then immediately resigned. Yeah, I thought so too. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, really? I forgot. Linda. Oh, no. I can't remember her name, but she was just yeah. a very, very ephemeral member. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well I forgot put. about that. I, I did too. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So there's a couple. You know. So, well, the, how do we go about filling these? Do we need to let the town know that they should be interviewing, or what? What's the process for replacing members? In the past, there was like those um, interviews and such, but how they're going to do it now, I'm not sure. Like, if they're going to pull from people that they already interviewed, or. Should we ask okay. the town clerk sure. like, who should be who should be contacted? Well, I volu I, volu I volunteer to send an email to Angela Mills to ask what the okay. process is. I will Thank take care you. of that. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, I'm also gonna be sending her an email saying, you know, like for real, I'm done. And um tell her like the um offices that we nominate today. Which actually, do we want to jump to uh, nominations right now? Wait a minute. This feels like a good segue. Can you hang on just a second, please? I'm behind on the minutes. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, are we all good with popping to nominations, and then we'll go back? and catch the other stuff sure nominations. It feels like that's where our minds are at right now all right well i would like to um nominate terry holt for chair i believe that um she's a good candidate in her own right and also um the fact that she is new um I think is actually a positive in this particular situation because there has been so much turnover in this particular position in the commission that it would afford a great continuity for her entire uh, years in office. So I, I, second so it. I actually see that I as a second. plus. So maybe I should go away while you guys talk about me. I can turn on no, the volume and my not camera. Necessary. <laughs> You can all You're say fine. <laughs> Should I read my bio? Does anybody want to read my? I can read my. I wrote up something to put on the website if you want me to read it. Oh yeah. Um. Could you send me a picture to go along with that too? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could put it on the social media. Sure. Should I read this? I wrote it here. Okay. So this is what I I sent to Shoshana to put on the website. Uh, you can read along with me if you want. Um, I'm a photographer, graphic designer, web administrator. I work as a contractor in the arts and cultural sector. I was born in Massachusetts at Marblehead, and I uh, spent years in Florida, North Carolina, Rhode Island, and I just moved here. You all know I'm brand new. I live here with my wife and my three children. Uh, I've got a background in communications and marketing. Uh, I worked in the travel and tourism industry and magazine publishing, writing and editing. Uh, I went to University of Florida School of Journalism, and I also worked on my MA in English and never finished my thesis, so I can't really say that I have an MA, although I do. <laughs> um, and um, my passion is for making 
strategic partnerships. I, I wanna I wanna brand our town. I want to brand our the public art commission better. I want people to see what we're doing. I want to beautify our streets and our parks and activate more public spaces with music and art and dancing. Um, and I really hope that we can uh, work as a team on some of these goals. That's about it. And I can go away if you want to talk about me. Well, you're fine. You're fine. I think you're fine. If we talk about you and say anything negative, we might get nominated ourselves. <laughs> um, I'm happy to do that, Jim. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> nice things to say. About. <laughs> so, are there any other nominations for any other candidates for chair? Nope. I move we close nominations. Second. So, um, I guess we move to vote. <laughs> All in favor. Yes. Aye. Aye. Yes. Aye. 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 All that's nay. No nay. All right. So by unanimous vote, Terry is now the chair of the ARC mission. Woo! Oh, yay. Thank yay. you. Thank you. I have my back. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> I, only I hope you have like some kind you. of special drink for yourself tonight. <laughs> Seltzer right here. <laughs> All right, and um, have, have we already officially put um, Robert as treasurer or should we do that now too? We should do that now too. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. I nominate Robert as treasurer because he's a finance guy. <laughs> second. I second. <laughs> I third. <laughs> do I have time for a bottle? No, you have to say no. something nice about yourself. Give us, give us your reasons why you want to do this job, Robert. Um, well, as uh, Shoshana mentioned, uh, my background and my career-wise, I, I am in finance. I'm the currently director of finance and administration for a community development corporation in Cambridge. Um, but previously, I've worked in arts organizations and educational organizations, all in the nonprofit world. Um, the reason I wanted to be on this commission in the first place was because I'm very interested in the intersection of the arts and community development. I think I should Terry's perspective in, in really wanting to um, activate a lot of the uh, areas downtown and, and really all over the, the city um, and, and um, kind of increase the, the presence of the uh, public art commission so that people actually know that it exists and, and uh, we, we have engagement uh, from the community. So looking forward to uh, to working on the strategic plan and, and moving forward. Awesome. All right, um, so vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 The nays. Oh, wait, actually, Terry, you should probably do this, right? No, so well, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Should I? <laughs> no, maybe, maybe you can, you continue. You're doing great. I'll take over next time. All right, uh, and all the nays. Do we have any nays? All right. Also unanimous. It's decided. Yay! Robert is the treasurer. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Thank you. I yeah, won't even call you. for a recount. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And so moving back to poetic dialogue. I'm going to skip the chair report. Uh, well, the chair report was me leaving. Was, <laughs> All right. It oh, was okay. succinct. It was short and sweet. And, yep. <laughs> and we all cried. It was a real tearjerker. Bittersweet. Yeah. Bittersweet. Um, although one note on uh, you guys talking about like uh, visibility and stuff like that, mm -hmm. um, it was an idea that we had uh, before the um, pandemic hit that it would be cool if we had like a logo so that we could put it on a pin so that when we go to like town things, you know, like maybe there's like a finance committee meeting and we want to go and show our presence there, we could all wear like a little pin on our on our shirts that show that like, you know, we're the art commission and we're here, you know? Yeah, 
That's a nice idea. So just a just an idea that we had, but then like you know the pandemic hit and it was completely irrelevant. Yeah, I, I think branding is a thing that um, we've been kind of talking about a little bit and and uh, have, wanting it and, and like to to create a brand for us and i think that's a yeah a good a good thing to put effort toward yeah but okay so poetic dialogue um i talked to kamal peters and he can get robert frost back in his spot for 550 dollars okay um and how much do we actually have at our disposal right we have oh i don't know the specific amount but it's like right around that amount oh and i i apologize shoshana did you did you share with me a spreadsheet or some kind of documentation related to the accounts or account yeah you did share that with yeah me? There, okay. I, yeah there's a spreadsheet in the google group <clears throat> Okay. But there's I think also I was having um, anytime you that. have a question, yep. you can talk to Holly Bow or Holly Drake is her name now. Holly Drake. Okay. She's yeah. at the town. Yep. Yep. She's the town. Like she's, I think her official title is like assistant to the comptroller or something like that. Okay. I'll contact her. Yeah. It, so if you look her up, it might also say Holly Bowser, but that was her married name. She's divorced. Yeah. I won't mention that. <laughs> it's making me slightly nervous to commit to do something when we don't know we have the money to pay the bill. Right. Okay. Well, I, I yeah. think that's First a prudent is... course of action, Jim. Yes. But we really can't vote on this until we know we have the money in there. Yeah. Um, why don't I, uh, in addition to sending an email to Angela, I'll send an email to Holly and find out exactly what we have to our name here. Um, okay. I'd like to actually see if we can meet a little bit later in the month because we need to talk about them making it public um, because we need to vote on it before April. So um, later on in the meeting, I'd like to see if we can all decide on a date we can have a meeting. So at that time, we could also discuss this. That might give Robert enough time to find out how much we have in the bank. Okay. Great. Great. Looks like a number 11 to me. Yeah, that's, a, that's an 11. <clears throat> we'll call that a chapter 11. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're not at that point yet. <laughs> I hope we are. I love some them. Bad humor there. I used to do them. <laughs> not for myself i did them for clients okay, so town hall gallery yep um so i don't i don't need to be voted in to that position right good no nope. um <laughs> well, we're just thrilled that you're doing this mikey well thank you um but the right now for the town hall gallery it's a four page uh form that's on the website and I don't know if we can pull that up, but because since COVID, we haven't had a vetting of artists and um, we haven't asked participants to pay uh, and paid their 10% of anything they sell, which at this point, because I just got another person in for uh, April, May and June, I didn't ask them to pay either, but I'd like to change the wording on the website. And okay. so I wanted to make sure it was all right. Um, Do you have the application pulled up on your computer? I can share a screen with you. Uh, I have it printed out. I don't know. Yeah. I, okay. I think I send it to somebody. <laughs> Did I send it to you, um, Jim? No, oh, I don't think so. I haven't I seen it. Four page application, but I haven't looked for it. Is it so it's on the public art website? So the public, the one that's there right now is on the public arts website. Okay. And then hold on, let me see if I can find my folder. So that one was. <clears throat> changed on um, uh, as of June 3rd, 2021. 
it said due to COVID restrictions, Town Hall Gallery was closed March, June, July. But it, what it used to have was a whole workflow. Okay. Calling for artists during the applicants, coordinating the exhibits. But that also worked with the, um, yeah, all of that. I think I found it, right? Okay. Uh, but the, all of that information was um, also to do with um, the Arts Night. We don't have Arts Night anymore. And that wasn't done through the Public Arts Commission. That was with a whole nother group okay. that did the Arts Night. So, um, just out of curiosity, who did that? Part, um, well, it Arts was um, Amy Crawley, but who was also on the Public Arts Commission, but she's now on the other committee that I'm on, and that's the Amherst yeah. Historical Society. So you basically Arts you want got edits. dissolved. It you got dissolved. Edits. Right. Yeah. You want you want edits this form? Is that right, Mikey? No, I I rewrote it. So. Okay. Um, uh, I actually did it with Angela. And, um, oh, great. <clears throat> awesome. So let me see if I can pull it up on. I don't even know how to do this. Well, I'm, I don't I'm know how to, to do it. I'm just paging around on this if, if it's okay. been uploaded. Okay. I'm just going to read to you what I wrote. Okay. Um, we would like visual artists from around the Pioneer Valley to exhibit their work at the Amherst Town Hall. We ask that you commit to at least a two month showing of your work. There are display spaces on the primary floor and second floor of town hall. We have a hanging system of a mo movable hook on a painting rail. It's a metallic line cord, but not a fixed rod. The artist must provide a horizontal wire or hook on the back of their work for us to hook to the cord and display their art. There are five display spaces in the front hall and then eight or nine hanging cords along the hallways. The town hall is open weekdays from 8 to 4.30. We will put information about the display in the Jones Library, the town of Amherst website, uh, the Quabbin Arts Association, Amherst Plain Air Society, Levert Arts and Crafts, the local gallery in North Amherst, as well as on Facebook. Please contact Mikey e. Cutting and my information. Okay. You know, I do think I've seen that. If I uh, see yeah, I sent it to you, Jim. And then That's the other important. thing I um, emailed to Jim and Shoshana and asked them about is if we can't find artists, which are pretty tough to do, um, can we have museums like Emily Dickinson or Amherst History Museum or our Carl Museum put information in about an exhibit that's coming up there? Huh. But I also understand that that might not work because I've talked to some, there was supposed to be on May 7th, the um, art show sort of thing by the bid that they're not doing. I'm sorry. And they I'm said sorry. that's not a good idea to invite um, museums. So what well, are we why did to... they think it wasn't a good idea? Because we should really just focus on artists. <laughs> I, I don't understand what we're, what, what are we trying to accomplish right now? So uh, I'm trying to change the letter so that they know that they don't have to go through a vetting process and they don't have to pay $100 and then 10% uh, <clears throat> of everything that they sell because oh. we don't have, we don't have a vetting process in place now. So we're discussing changing the requirements for the town gallery, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. Well, when you say we don't have a vetting process, um, what what do you mean by that exactly? Well, according to the website, we had to, they had, um, people had to apply by a certain date. And then um, I was never a part of this. Uh, yeah, and there was a, a jury. Six artists a year. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said. Go ahead, Shoshana, you know more about this, uh, that's part. Yeah, it used to be that like people would submit their applications and um, 
we would have a jury and we'd pick like the six people that would be able to show and um most of the time it was most of the people that would apply but not always all of them and so you did have to have like some choices being made um but since it's like the attendance is very low in the in the town hall now and it didn't seem right to charge that money anymore to show in there because like it used to be that there was like all these meetings and stuff you know and people were in and out and in you know seeing there's a lot more eyeballs on the art than there is now right sure but, but i think Dara, I, Dara had a comment there. Yeah. i just how would a artist citizen find out that it was even possible to be a part of showing in the town hall where where is it advertised that it's available it's on the website so they um, would have to look right on the public arts commission website so it's not ever advertised in local papers or local online stuff it hasn't been to my knowledge but i think it should be yeah so should, if we change that i'm assuming we'd get more artists right yeah, yeah. And also yeah, probably. i, I want to finish just one thing i think it would be really nice to set up something that would invite say people of much younger new new artists like high school students i, I agree or like two or three times a year like yeah. so make it into a thing and then we can have a contact at the high schools all around and make it into a really nice thing for some kids who are inspired to be artists it'd be really nice it's a great can, idea and i suggest we back up and dispose of whether we're going to charge for it and then i think this discussion right here is worthy of its own independent spot okay so right now we you you want to ask that we that we eliminate the whole pay us twenty dollars for this okay so is right. that something we should vote on right okay and okay. and to accept this letter of um just to put this in in its place for right okay. now until we decide on something else i just don't want people to to go to the site and say oh my god i have to do all of this and pay all this money when that's not what we're doing right now. Okay, that seemed, that makes a lot of sense. Right. Well, 20 bucks is so... No, it's 100. I don't think it's 20. I think it's... Oh, a... it says 20 on the site. It's 100? I thought it said... There's a 20 dollar <laughs> so application. Am I looking, I'm looking at the right one, right? Wait a minute. I love the exhibits. 20% commission. Maybe I'll look at the wrong dollars application. Well, this is a $20 application fee. No, yeah. that's just the application fee. Uh, then I think uh, there's for what I have. So do you want to keep the $20 application fee? No, not okay. I, I wouldn't think so right now. I think if we get back to something like this in the future, we should put something together. But but my big feeling is is not having an opening for people's paintings and evening right. where people can come in and look at everything. I, I don't think we can be charging. So let me ask you a question real quick. What does it cost us to put up all these paintings? It's uh, your work, but it's also, um, there's some hardware probably, right? It's already there. Every, all the hardware is there. They, um, the artist puts the work up themselves. Oh, okay. All we okay. do is um, whoever our, um, so when a new artist comes in, we'll be having a new artist in April, Stephanie Oates, and she's a photographer. Um, so I will get her blurb and I'll send it to the person that um, does all the uh, Facebook and all that sort of thing. Okay, so they so do the printing we... out for everything? Yeah, pardon me? So that's, an, that's no cost for us then at all? I don't think so, no. It's amazing. Right. The only art we can have is paintings and things on the wall. There's no space for three dimensional art. Right. Okay. It's a tiny space. It is. But it's, it's tiny, nice, but it's still nice. It's got a nice. Right. It's very pretty. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you another question? Why is the application on this version that I've seen on the screen sent 
care of the Jones Library? I have no idea. It has nothing. I don't know. Do you know how where it goes or anything or who would I've get seen, it? I've seen that address being used for other forms. I think because we, we have really a have... mailbox at the Jones Library. Right. Like oh, if, okay. if someone wants to actually mail us something like like an actual like piece of paper or something like that, they can um, mail it to the Jones Library and we've got like a little box there that. Oh, um, well, that should probably Teresa... be something we know about. We don't know yeah. about. We should, we should <laughs> yeah. possibly well, go there. Terry, I wanna, <laughs> Terry, I want to <laughs> have a meeting with you still about okay. like all of like this little, these weird little things. That sounds great. And because right. like there's a, there's other stuff too that like I just would like to have an actual like real meeting with you to like look at yep. and show you like the different things. Okay, that sounds great. So, um, like, I'll let's email us separately from that. Okay. To figure out just a time. So what are we doing about Ask the, another. Wait about a minute. Wait program. a minute. Can we go back to the town hall exhibit space, just so yeah. that we can get this letter to be put in, um, and then go from there. I think Robert. Yeah. If anybody five. wants to be on that um committee with me, it'd be wonderful. <laughs> we I haven't just disposed had a, the fee yet. Pardon me. We haven't disposed of the fee whether we're going to charge oh, a fee oh. let's discuss that in just a minute i think robert had a question yeah thanks i just in terms of understanding the process so as an example so the photographer you mentioned who's going to be uh exhibiting uh in april mm -hmm. um you've you've seen her work yes yeah okay she's local so, stephanie so, her father so was if, if, if I were to submit you review the work I, I I don't know what is the appropriate word to use I, I guess to make sure that obviously we're not displaying anything that um I get it is I understand for town hall? I work in the school First deal. We yes don't want controversial yep. material yep yep well it, I mean yeah. art by its nature can be controversial but I, I guess you know uh that would be universally offensive i guess if there is such a thing right um, i mean it yeah. is in the anyway I, I guess so there is some vetting in that regard uh right as, as right. okay i think there should be two people doing it does that make sense that'd that's, be great i would love yeah. some help that's too much of a burden for one person yeah plus, that sounds like it it is a bit it's nice to have two points of view anyway different disciplines yep i'm an artist of ceramics and encaustic and oil and cold wax i think as we work to increase the size of our commission we may um, try to attract more people who could do this kind of work this as volunteers um, i look forward to doing that but for right now mikey that's a big job um, right right i know and what do, so what how do we feel about the whole vetting thing i mean if it's just you which is a lot of work um, should we maybe as a commission vet this vet the entries if there's more than one? <laughs> We're hoping well, right now, through, right now I'm searching for people. Okay. So I think if yeah, we put this I, call out no more publicly, we'll probably get more artists. Right. Yeah, right. Well, see Dara's we, idea, which was a great one. Right. If uh, well, yeah. Uh, but the problem with the local schools, I work at the high school. Mm -hmm. So that's a uh, and I'd love to get something out to the school and get some of those students involved, but they also have an exhibit in the spring at mm -hmm. Amherst College. Um, so what I'd love to do is like for next year, because we're gonna have an exhibit in this year, um, probably a month before put something up in like the front okay. hallway of some of the students about what's gonna be in June at Amherst College. Okay to represent them. But yeah, I think it's a really good idea and very important. So, well, to get back to the vetting thing, it seems to me it shouldn't be just one person just for any number of reasons, oh, yeah. nothing to do with who the right. individual is. So if we can't do it with a volunteer, I mean, I, I'm a photographer. I, I don't know if I'm qualified to vet paintings. So if we can't do it, with one other person so we have at least two i think it should come before the commission even if it's uh one entry so i'm going to move that nothing gets hung unless it's embedded by at least two commission members or absent that the entire committee okay should i tell this 
the, the person that's setting up in April that or no? I think that one is passed. That's the okay. that, that that's one. water over the bridge. Yeah, that's okay. the next one though. The next okay. time you put out a call, I think part of our process, it's a really good idea, Jim. Part of our right. process should be, this is what our, our, our juried process looks like. So can we I need to add that? that to this. Yeah, I think we'll say in there that it'll be Jim. If can we say like um, your all entries will be reviewed and vetted by the our commission or? Yep. Okay. okay. So well, you have that. So please add that to it. Thank can you. Can I say that we decided that by acclamation? Right. And so maybe we should keep the twenty dollars there too, because we do need to make money. As Amy Crawley told me, who used to do this, she said this is how we made money for the public arts commission this well is i mean how we... it might cover our costs a little bit if we have to right. ever get dpw it or was 20 percent i well, think the thing is you know when people are knocking when people are knocking on my door i can charge but when i'm knocking on their door i don't know about the charging yet yeah that's my issue too well i would i would suggest that you know when we get into the strategic planning process we think about um in in that context, how we're going to raise funds. I mean, there there is grant money out there, et cetera. I I feel like I don't know know enough about this yet, but just superficially, it seems perhaps to undermine our attempt to encourage public art if we're charging artists, you know, if we're trying to support artists and then we're turning around and charging them a hundred dollars. I don't sure. think that's necessarily um and well, and if anyway, I, I just think that's something that we need to explore. More oh, and, I agree. And think about right. whether it's in line with our values. Uh, what well, we're right. I think it. I think it I should be um, also. Wait like, a minute. Wait a minute. We should wait, charge wait. until at least there's meetings at town hall because, like, there's just not enough eyeballs coming through. That's true. Right now, hey, Dara. Also, if if they have to commit to two months, you're only talking about about a hundred and what, hundred and twenty dollars or you're not talking about a lot of money well to an yeah, artist right. it's a lot <clears throat> no it's i mean the commission right 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 raising right. money for the commission right. by charging artists twenty dollars i don't think that's a great way for us to raise money i right. agree with what robert said and i think it might be something that we vote on right now and we we, yeah. we talk about it again when we're doing more strategic planning but That's I'm going right. to move to eliminate any kind of fee for this for this particular project for right now. Thank you. I so take thank off the twenty dollars application fee altogether. So anybody second me? Yeah, I second. I second. I second it. Anybody against? Anybody? Everybody for? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And so move. How about the new letter that and and not this one for right the now? The new letter sounded really good. We'll just. It sounded good to me. I'd I'd love to see it. I like. I can't okay. read it. I'd love to read it. Get but... to send it to everybody on the commission. That'd be great. Right. Great. Don't, Thank you, don't, don't discuss it if you do that. Just send it. Yeah. Just send um, it. Jim, I sent it to you and Shoshana um, a month ago, but I'll resend yeah, it. Yeah, no, but I didn't know that you wanted me to send it forward. From now on, if anybody sends me stuff, should I just have a policy of always sending it to everybody else? Yes. That's great. Yes. I, yeah. Whatever is right by the commission. I, I don't know all that. Okay, I can deal with that. Yeah, if you send it to me, I'll be glad to be the conduit. Okay. All right, so if you send it to me, it's going to be sent out to everybody else unless you tell me to the contrary. Okay. Sounds good. All right, thank you, Mikey. Sure. So all right making it public is the next thing on the agenda Can you hang on just a minute please oh, oh yeah okay while john is looking for that um i have put in the chat i hope the chat is working here um a link to the making it public that we've come up with and i want to read a thing i don't see it in the chat no it's not in the chat Oh, man. What I was trying to do is just make oh, sure it was a little difficult to take minutes for, and I just want to make sure I didn't. Okay. Did we decide anything about future, or did we just decide about that one exhibit that we're talking about? 
I don't I don't remember talking um, about it. We haven't made a decision about future. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'm good then. Okay. Okay. We want to do that. But I'm going to keep looking for more artists. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Um, I uh, wrote up. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the making a public grant and tell you where, where we all are, because I know you are all behind. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so last meeting, uh, we talked about uh, if we wanted to go forward with this, and we all wrote a letter and said, we can't do this. And the town manager got back to us and said, well, not didn't get back to us, but contacted Gabriel Gould of the BID and asked her to be the liaison for us. Um, which is great. So, um, so we now have a, we don't have a town planner, but we have Gabriel Gould, Gabrielle Gould, who is um, incredibly experienced as executive director of the BID, and she's going to be working with us to make this a reality. So to that end, um, we uh, talked and Lori Shoshona and I acted on, on the behalf of the commission to gather lots of facts from that meeting. And we talked to the representatives from, from NEFA regarding this grant. And they said that we can indeed get an extension, which was like, yay. <laughs> um, so we are still gonna, we're still moving forward. And um, I read, all, I, I don't know if I read, read all this by, okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna read now. Um, so we could have given up this opportunity for the 10 grand, but Gabrielle already says she has a bunch of people who are very interested in applying for this grant. And so she was very much wanting us to push forward. So we decided, well, we didn't decide, but we came up with a plan to get more facts and write this up and continue as if we were moving forward. So Lori Shoshone and I worked on this call and I have a copy of it to send you to look at. Uh, we will be voting on this by the end of the month so that we can move forward. We were given a new deadline by NEFA. We've been working with them for a couple of weeks now. Um, I did want to say um, we had to refocus our call. Our call was too general. Um, we needed to make a call that was more in line with our mission as uh, a commission. And uh, to reminder, our mission is to promote cultural diversity and improve quality of life for Amherst residents. So in the call, we decided to um, come up with a public art project or a call for a public art project that centers the experience of BIPOC people. Uh, and we also thought it more appropriate to offer it for Kendrick Park as a location. Um, this is, we did this with lots of thought and lots of reading. And um, we changed some of the verbiage in our call to attract a higher number of proposals, hopefully including artists who find themselves on the margins in terms of their experience. And to make a call that's equitable for all artists. And the reason we did that was the whole making it public project is supposed to be something that opens up doors for people, uh, for BIPOC people. Um, so the call that we had written before really didn't, didn't do that because we didn't have the experience of the people who went and had that training. We didn't have them working with us. So, so this is what we came up with. Um, I can share it with you so you can all take a look. Uh, I thought I put it in the chat, but apparently not. Let's see if I can do this now. Yeah, I thought I saw it in the chat too. Like yeah, okay, I see beginning. it there, but. Maybe you just sent it to, did you send it to hosts and panelists? I don't know, I put, I put it in the chat and I see it in the chat, but, maybe, but you don't, so. No. Um, that's look. Can you please send me that by email? Because since you're displaying it to the meeting, I got to put it in the minutes. Yes, I sure can. Thank you. Um, so since I can't share it, I at least want to like read some of it. I can't. Okay. This is crazy. This whole Zoom thing, I swear. It's in the way, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. There you go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. So this is what we came up with. I'm just gonna read the uh, first part, okay? I have it on screen here too. Uh, Amherst Public Art Commission together with the BID uh, invites artists from the BIPOC community to submit applications for a single commission to create a temporary or semi-permanent artwork that recognizes the experience and culture of the black, indigenous and people of color in Amherst for installation in Amherst Kendrick Park. This opportunity is funded in partnership with the New England Foundation for the Arts, the Amherst BID and the Metropolitan Area Planning Co Council. Um, and then I 
talk about the mission and core values, which I just read. Um, APAC recognizes the value and potential of public art as a meaningful activator to support the downtown and village centers that's a cultural destination and to help enliven public spaces. To that end, we seek artwork that recognizes the experience and culture of BIPOC people in Amherst and the interconnectedness of our lives and futures. So um, this was kind of our refocusing. Uh, I'll send this to you all and uh, you can take a look at it and we will vote on it a little bit later. Uh, we've been working pretty closely with NEFA on it. So any questions so far? Yeah. So when we send this out, can, uh, can somebody make sure to get a hold of Anika Lopez with Ancestral Bridges? They have an exhibit right now in Amherst College. And last year they had one at the Amherst History Museum. Um, that was a very successful and they might know of people too. That's great. I think uh, if you'll gather that information and we can send that to Gabrielle and she's going to be uh, getting, she's going to be basically the one who is driving. Uh, this call for art is going to go out around April 3rd, I think. Okay. And uh, it's going to have to go out with a big push for promotion. And she's going to handle all that because we are not qualified. Right. <laughs> we don't. Another that's one that's, that's happening is the Cambodian. Um, we're doing a big push at the Amherst History Museum for next year about the Cam Cambodian community within Amherst. So I'll make sure to get those people that's exciting. to know about it too. Great. So this will go out, we hope in April, I'll send you the copy, we can take a look and we'll talk about it later, but we do need to set a date for when we can talk about it in a couple of weeks before the end of the month. Okay. So um, we, do you wanna do that now or do you wanna do that a little bit later? Let's do it now. Okay. Do it now, it's done. If you do it later, it might get done. Who has a calendar open? Let's... I do. You've got a calendar? Okay. okay. <laughs> I could go to a calendar. You'll see all my fun family stuff on this thing. Okay. Okay. Here's March. <laughs> this is too personal. Okay. Somebody else give me a, give me a calendar. I don't want you to see my. Well, we can use this. our own calendars. I got my own up. Okay. I mean, I have my own, but so, I got my own. Um, we have, let's see, uh, by the end of the month. So maybe uh, two weeks from today would be which date? The 20th. 20th. 20th? Uh, is, is anyone not available the 20th at 6 p.m.? Everyone's available? You all look at your I calendar? don't know. I'm still look, I'm looking. Okay. I am. Uh, March 20th. That's okay. I'm going to stop sharing my screen for just a minute. Look at my own calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm free. That would work for me. Does that work for everybody else? Yeah, it's yes. fine for me. Okay, great. Yep. 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. Okay. Awesome. So you'll send out, oh no, I'm, never mind. Angela sends it out. All right, now I'm gonna try to get back to my Zoom, but this is so hard to find. It was April 20th, I mean, April March 20th. 20th. March. I mean, March 20th, yes. Yeah, Mar yeah, March 20th. All right. Okay. So I would suggest that we send out that document uh, in advance. I will send out this document uh, after our meeting, okay? Okay, that's good. Okay, so there's that. What was the next thing on our list? Well, we skipped the treasurer's report. Do we want one? <laughs> I have nothing to report at this moment. Uh, hopefully by the next meeting, I'll at least know how much money we have in our account. Okay, so the next thing is North Common Public Art then. Oh, wait a minute, let me just double check. Um, Can I ask a question about the meeting? Uh, Terry, I know in a previous communication, you proposed in-person meetings at some point. I don't know yes. if you want to so entertain that. Idea. I am totally entertaining that. And we'll talk about that too. I would love for, I think it's April is when we, as a state entity do not have to continue having remote meetings. I think that begins in April and I got to check with leg like legality, but I think that's when this ends. So I would love for us to decide as a group if we are okay with having like maybe every other month meeting in person, if, if that works. Um, 
we'll, we'll totally we can talk about that but i would love to meet like maybe have our, our april meeting maybe we can have that in person yeah we're having and a since i'm new i don't even know where we met in the past so who who, who knows yeah. that jo the jones is there a town yeah, place town in hall we town met hall. at town yeah. hall the town hall there's a spot there's like a room that's like right around the corner downstairs oh exciting i love but, it um, i can okay. show you all this stuff when we meet okay that'd be great for people to see the town hall gallery yes yeah right. yes exactly. that'd be fantastic i would love to meet in person and can we eat there can we have coffee and stuff yes you can coffee and tea it. awesome okay oh, so wow. um so what i'd also like to do and this isn't i'm we're on the, are on the calendar uh, on the agenda, but we um, need to figure out a more regular date for a meeting that is more like we know every third Monday we meet or every third Wednesday or of the month or, you know, like a more regular one so we don't have to do a doodle poll because um, I need to put it on my calendar and have it be solid. Agreed. So can we agree on a, a day of the month that works better for everybody and a week of the month so we can just kind of nail that down? Good idea. For me, the third, wait, first Thursdays are off the schedule for me. I've got a, another meeting for that, that day. So yeah, what um, is, I have what Tuesdays. Is, I think it's the second Tuesday of every month that I have a um, Amherst History Museum meeting. Okay, so, so that's not going to work. Okay. But Tuesday, always, Tuesday, Tuesdays don't work for me. Tuesdays and, not, okay. Well, we have a meeting on Mondays, uh, so yeah. Mondays seem to work. For Mondays do seem to us. work. So okay. I, would, I would propose continuing with Mondays. Uh, first, first Mondays. When what time are we talking about? Uh six to seven thirty ish, or okay, that, that will that not. Work? I don't know if that works for an in-person meeting or not. Okay. We used to meet during the middle of the day <laughs> when we were in person. I can't, can't do, do that. that. Can't do that. I'm I sorry. work two jobs. I can't do that either. <laughs> that's that's fine with me. I don't have a problem with it. But who, when we decide when we talk about meeting at the town hall, we need to find out if they if that's an issue or not an issue. Okay. Well, if it's ever an issue, and if we need a space, um, let me talk to the president of the historical society. Maybe we can meet in there. It's freezing, okay. but um, I think I could. I could go early and turn it on. Easier than you could. You guys what? can all. I think Jim's got. You and I got could easily too. talk to the president. No, I think <laughs> probably do it meet, easier than me. I think if you're going to meet in person, it should be at the town hall, right? And I think it's fine after five, but I'm just footnote. Let's just make sure before we show up there and the doors locked. Well, I know the tree committee um, would meet from. 5 30 to um like 6 30 or so you know up to seven o'clock but after seven i don't know i do remember us having one meeting that we had a run-in with the janitor <laughs> remember that when it was us <laughs> exactly what i don't want to do well i was i was on the historical commission years ago and we met in the evenings at town hall so i think it is possible but is anyway there, it'd be good there, it'd be good to confirm that can we meet like until seven or until seven thirty? What is the usual time we have to finish? So when I came it's from Arlington, and when we had meetings in Arlington, we had to fill out a form, and so we would fill out a form and we would say till seven thirty, and then they would schedule, you know, to have a custodian there. So is that what why we have we, to do here in Amherst? Why don't we figure this out? We're meeting in two weeks. Why don't we have somebody find out what the requirements, possibilities are with the with the town hall and then we can set the date based on information that we have okay excellent idea anybody want to be in charge of that or do you want me to do that i can do it if you want me to great all right, yeah, all right. okay just a minute let me jim write down this in minutes great So we agreed first Mondays of the month work and hopefully at town hall. Hang on and we can do every other month or we can start doing being in person every month. It's all all what we decide. This format still works for lots of folks and it's um, opens it up to a lot of people and it's accessible. So um, if we want to continue kind of allow it, you know, we might do we decide to do it, you know, every other month. So that'd be great. Uh, how accessible is town hall because i see a lot of stairs 
Is there an the uh, elevator? Just an elevator. There's an elevator? Okay, great. And the elevator works? Yeah, on the side. Yeah, great, great. Okay, I haven't seen that. Fantastic. All right. Wait a minute. Let's see what we didn't do. Making it public. We did. They're making it public. All right. Retreat meeting. Um, retreat meeting. So that would probably not be our April meeting. Our April meeting is going to be a regular meeting, but I would love to have it would be a, not a regular monthly meeting unless we wanted it to be um, where we could spend a little more time uh, doing some more strategic planning. And um, I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to try to bring in some other representatives from other organizations. And uh, if you have um, contacts with other organizations that you are already interested in bringing on board, I'd love to reach out to those people. I'd like to grow our commission and have more volunteers. And uh, I feel like we're a bit siloed. So I'd like to, um, I, I think I'm not the only one to say this. I think we need to bring in some other voices. So go ahead, Robert. Um, I would agree with that. I'm just wondering about, um, does it make sense for us to meet first as, as the commission to talk about it? Because we haven't really had much time uh, among ourselves to, to, to dig into the strategic plan process. And I, I very much like the idea of task force and, and bringing in, you know, there's so many artists in the community and the university you know the colleges i mean there, there are there are lots of opportunities to bring in a lot of interesting voices um so i i think i, I my preference would be for us to have a conversation first about that before you know the first time we talk about it is with a lot of other people too if that makes sense i figured we would talk about it in the april meeting anyways but um i agree with you um, well, if we can just make sure that we carve out enough time in the agenda, because it often feels like, you know, there are all these other items that we have right. to address and, and then we run out of time. So if we can, and maybe, I, I mean, I don't know what else is, what, what else will be on the agenda at the next March meeting if, if we want to devote a good chunk of that to this idea, because I, I just feel like the sooner we start really getting our hands into the strategic plan process, you know, the, the rest of our planning for the year will, I think, be easier in many ways, because okay. I, I still feel like right now we're, we're chasing yep. after projects and I, it doesn't feel very well coordinated. I, I don't feel like we have a, a clear idea of, of our direction. So, OK, uh, I was I was considering just bringing in a few just like that, like perhaps the Amherst um, BID, because they're partnering with us on this project and mm. possibly inviting the town manager and you know some other just kind of um more town of amherst folks maybe not mm. reaching out to organizations yet I, I agree with you on that part so i'm yeah. open i mean that's that's just my opinion i'm, I'm no, obviously I agree. open I, to what other people uh, think i'd rather and, have uh, a plan before we bring on a whole bunch of other voices that's I true. agree with yeah. bob and um and i think maybe we should have a special meeting just for the strategic plan because i think it's yep. So that would be in addition to a monthly meeting or to take the place of a monthly meeting? Can we just, well, the question is, can we set the next monthly meeting uh, for that purpose with nothing else on the agenda? Can we get away with that? Uh, <laughs> There's some time sensitive stuff with no. the public gallery and the making it public. So we're at meeting on 320 for um, probably voting on the MIP and also voting on the uh, language for the town meeting gallery um call i guess we're calling it um and then we're going to be meeting on april what is the first oh i don't have my calendar up now calendar. april 3rd april 3rd okay april 3rd is the day that the mip will go public i think that's so that's the meeting you want to have at the town hall that would be well, cool if we could yeah but let's just focus on is that the meeting we're going to have the entirely devoted to the strategic plan plan so that's up to you so that's up to us my only worry is the the portal gallery that we've got to get in so i'm just wondering if we should 
make sure that that's taken care of before we do the strategic plan or just so we don't lose sight of it. Okay. What 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 is the time uh what's, Shoshana what's has the that information timeline on the, the portal gallery. The portal Sorry? gallery the money has to be spent by June. Whoa, we better do that next. The money has okay. to be spent by June. That was and, my okay. worry. So and I think we it should have a special that meeting the installation for has to be executed by June, but it does like have to be spent by June. Okay. So Jim, you're saying you want to have a special meeting for have, just this? Yeah, I think we better. Okay. Well, yeah, I definitely think for the strategic plan we kept talking about it for two, several meetings, and we can't do it because of all this other stuff. So we need a special meeting for it. Do we all feel like we have time for a special meeting to, to have, spend a few hours and try to think about more strategic ways of doing this job? I know, Laura, you've got a pretty full schedule. I mean, I think we all do, but. I don't. I mean, it, dep it depends on when we. You know, if we can find a time that works for everyone, then then I can commit to that. Okay. Do we want to look at like make maybe like a mid-April or toward the end of April? This is for the strategic. This is for strategic, yes. Okay. April, let's see. So the week of the 21st is uh spring break for the school so i'll be at the amherst history museum all week putting up a an exhibit okay. so if you need me you can steal me for an hour in the <laughs> evening but or two but so in, in, in a perfect world this would be a saturday or sunday thing that we could spend a few hours if oh we, yes, we no can. i can't do it um okay uh, yeah, I know that weekends are hard. Yeah. yeah. No, no, that's fine. Uh, we can look at another week. Um, because the during the week I can't I can't commit too yeah. many hours because I got kids, but weekends I can. How about um, the eighth? What about the eighth? Of April? Yep. That would be two meetings in one week. That's a lot of uh APAC in one yeah, week. Yeah, I think I have <laughs> an out I think I have a guest here from out of town that weekend. What about the 15th? That doesn't work for me. that weekend. I can't do. What about the twenty second? Oh my gosh, I'm in New York. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be sorry. Do it's it. okay. You want to do it on a Sunday? I could do the weekend of the twenty ninth of April, but we're getting we're pushing. I don't mean you know. I don't want to push you all towards yeah, the end. So could I could I just ask again? So March twentieth. What? The agenda items are just votes. We're going to be voting for the final, we hope, um, call for artists for the making it public. Um, after NEFA gives us our approval for the go ahead, um, we have to approve it as a commission before we can get our first lump of money. So okay. uh, that's well, I mean, how, how long, how long? That's probably that... not going to be a very long meeting. I'm going to be sending you the documents beforehand that you can look over. And I'm right. assuming it's going to be a pretty, pretty quick. So at this point, we'll have the document to review ahead of time. There's been a lot of work done on it since the first draft, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, given that everyone has very full schedules and, and that meeting is already on the books, yeah. can we can we devote, you know, an hour that night to at least sort of flesh out a preliminary plan for how to move forward because you know getting into late April and May right. we're just we're losing we're losing a lot of time okay um what do we think about that March 20th we're going to have a remote meeting but we could meet in person if well I mean we can still do it remotely I I just I just I, I just think that the sooner we start on it you know because it will take some time to well, I think that's a so, good idea. So, okay, so we're also voting on that one on the town hall space right. or no? Right. Yeah. Okay. But that takes two minutes. Yeah. That, those two items should take very, very, not very long at all. Okay. Uh, Dara had a comment. So it, when you're thinking about the strategic planning meeting, is somebody going to develop an agenda for that meeting? Uh, I think Robert and I are going to come up with some kind of a plan. Right. Is that okay, Robert? That was my assumption. Sure. Okay. No, yeah, that would be really great to have something. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll, we'll have an agenda in hand for us for, for 
talking at that meeting. So we'll have our points, you know. Yeah, so okay. why don't we have it on March 20 and just say we can't put anything else on the agenda, nothing else but what we just said. Three right. things. Well, great. So, um, um, and in that agenda, will that include the portal gallery? Uh, probably voting on the draft, which I'll share with you in a few minutes. I have a draft made for that. So that probably, I mean, oh. <laughs> Gosh, now now that meeting is getting too big. <laughs> we can't Three have things. a and strategic. Really? So maybe we, we should do... leave the portal gallery to the next um to to uh April third. April third. Okay. I Although think that's a great idea. Oh boy. Approving a call for artists tonight might be a good idea. And so that can get pushed out all right faster so to that end so are we done with this, this conversation so march 20th we're meeting at six o'clock why don't we say we're meeting six to eight six to eight thirty is that okay with everybody i know that's a little late i'm sorry but i really want to respect your time yeah. yep okay be there for as long as you can be obviously if you've got other commitments i understand and then april 3rd uh we'll talk hang about on just a minute i can't take minutes because my computer's frozen i'm about to lose everything i just Exactly. I think. So, Tara, you said the other time is April 3rd for some reason? Yes, ma'am. April 3rd. Yep. And that's and, in uh, person. That will be in person at Town Hall. Right. Jim is going to get back to us and tell us if that's going to work. Jim well, will have keys. So, the thing is, is the um, we actually, we could wait for the Town Hall um, information know. till then, too, because we'll be there in person. Okay. Um, so we could have just two things on the 20th. Okay. That would be probably be easier not to overload us. Wow. Are okay. you all right, Jim? No, I'm not. My computer is frozen. I cannot s save my file. Oh, no. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to just bring up the next the next thing, if that's okay. I so can't. Maybe somebody else should take somebody notes. Else. Can somebody else take notes for the mean in the meantime? Uh, I'll take squirrely notes, but I I can't take squirrely notes. <laughs> Let's All right. see. Um, I can't uh, open up the document. <clears throat> okay, on the screen here we have um, a draft. Open call for artists. Um, I took an old call. My dog is being crazy. Go, go lay down. Um, I took an old call that I found in a file from uh, the files that Shoshana gave me. So this is what I came up with. I will also send this to you. This is very drafty and this is my not understanding where this even is. So by the way, thank you, Robert, for sending me that video. That was really helpful. Sure. <laughs> So this yeah. is what I came up with. And this is just based on what I what I found. I just copied the exact same language. Um, right. Uh, in the past, I think um, I don't know how this was promoted because I don't know anything. So I think uh, when we promote this, we'll have to, we'll have to have a plan, and we'll use our Facebook page. We'll ask the town uh, to put it on the website. Um, we'll try to put it some other places. I think we should print it and bring it to a few places uh, around town. Yep. And uh, we should get some uh, some some nibbles on this one. Okay, I'm good. May I ask a question okay. for those in the know? Uh, in terms of the dimensions, it's tiny. Yeah, but this it's not ten, it's not ten feet by three and a half feet. Ten and inches. That's to be okay. inches. I'm so sorry. we need we need double. Okay, that's what I thought because I was looking at that and I thought that space is not that big. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Yeah, okay, that's so my those bad. are inches. Okay, good call. Thank you. Good call. <laughs> so are we going to keep it that it's only for local or regional regional being how far away uh i think quabbin and um hampshire like the hampshire <clears throat> region the, what we call the quabbin area and when you say regional what do you usually mean you guys live and lived here longer than i regional would be the happy valley i love yeah. that word by the way that's just <laughs> i love that it used to be the Pioneer Valley. So area. I think it, we should probably use the words Pioneer Valley, but I really don't Pioneer Valley. I don't think Bobbin, they use it anymore. Bob and Art, uh, I don't know. Excuse me, now we're on the uh, portal gallery call for artists. Yep. There, yes. Okay, yep. I can take notes now. <clears throat> Didn't lose everything. I have okay. a question, please. 
Yes. Um, since you're talking about the art dimensions, well, is somebody going to interpret that to mean that each one has to be that different dimension? Or yep. are, is it just within that dimension? Do you know how it would be interpreted? I think that we'll have to make this clear that there are, I think there are five windows and these are the dimensions of the windows. And I, that, that's going to be the exterior. The but that what? the art doesn't have to be exactly the dimension that. It can is, be smaller, but I don't think it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. If They're it's smaller, you're going to see, clear. you're going to see a lot of ugly background. <laughs> I, I don't well, it depends think... on the kind of artist. If it's a metal artist, they can build something uh, like a diorama. Well, I'm just suggesting the minimum size they should fill up the window because that place is ugly. Right. I I have a sorry. Did I interrupt someone? I apologize. You're mm -hmm. good. Go ahead, Robert. Okay, so unless I missed something on Sunday when I was there, isn't it just that one? side of the structure yep. yes yep. so then it seems like the site is not that description is not accurate because it it says that the concrete side walls it says walls plural it's really just one wall one wall yeah and i, I, I just copied this straight from the old stuff that maybe it was wrong i don't know well, oh, uh, unless I ready. missed something, I, I didn't see the five large panels. I saw five small panels that looked to be the same size, rectang okay. uh, rectangles. So that's what I, I thought. I mean, had, too. Has, something, has something changed? I wouldn't even call them panels. They're, they're little like windows. little windows. Yeah, right. They're, they're little windows, windows, but it's only on one. It's only on one side, right? Correct. That's right. right. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So I just. I, I, really just... I think the description needs a little work. There. Okay. Great. So the site. I have the site wrong. Um, entrance to Amherst Underground Garage near Boltwood. Is that correct? That first part? Uh, yeah, I mean, technically, it's it's, it's on that it's entrance. It's the stairwell. It's it's right by the stairwell. It's not underground. It's on the top side, but it's right where the um, it's on the outside of that stairwell. Yeah, maybe. Maybe um, I mean they look like five little windows to me. I couldn't make right. sense of what I right, was looking right. at. Right, right. I, I yep. agree. That's that's yeah. right. Look, they look. are yeah, like little shadow boxes, like five. They little are shadow little boxes. shadow boxes. Mm -hmm. That's why I found an artist in about Boston. As deep as they are wide. Okay, so should I eliminate this sentence, or is that is that what's con causing the confusion? I think that panels is causing. They're not really panels, are they? They're not. No. No. No, they're not. No. Nope. What do I use then? Sh boxes, windows. Uh, I would window say boxes. portals. They they are in fact portals. I mean that's the I, portal I box. That is why the portal window like, box. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I and think I, I think changing side like, walls to you know, side walls. Encouraged it's, to go look at the space. That's it's right. One, it's that. one wall. I've been there. Yeah. Okay. The concrete side wall of the car entrance is divided into. Is this sounding better? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, project and take out five saw panels on each side. They're not on each side. Oh yeah, right. Okay, so how is that? Enter chambers underground garage. It's not of the car entrance. Okay. It's um the it's the it's up on top. It's the elevator entrance. It's the elevator entrance. But it's outside of it. It's right. not inside the. It's outside of the elevator entrance. So um, I, know, I think maybe that like, actual structure has a name, but I don't know what the name of it is. I'll look it up. Can they you call say it the street? The street level. The street level of the entrance to the underground parking, or is that oh, too over here? Like too the, much of a mouthful here. There, yeah. there's wow. two entrances. Well, it's part of the problem of the whole space is that, like, <laughs> no one can even describe it. That's, <laughs> no that's one can <laughs> it's indescribable. <laughs> that's why it's unique. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. 
I, I don't even think you need to say that the wall's divided because the wall's not divided. They're just these little portals stuck in the wall. It's called <laughs> the Pullum windows. So well, art, Amherst art windows were offered views on tiny interactional worlds, according to the Hampshire Gazette. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. yeah I think like just, you know, yeah, the portal window boxes, and then we can throw in the measurements. I just okay. Don't remember what the measurements? Um, I think. Uh, I think. Um. Yeah. Maybe we should work on this. Like. Yeah. It said both it says, parking um, garage fragments of locally. Com oh no, that's that. What right? it's probably. It says here that. to create an artwork for a unique in the first sentence. Unique installation inside Amherst Center's yeah, I got that. garage. It's really five small south facing windows where the I think I would say at yeah. the Amherst Center both with garage because it's not inside. Oh yeah. It says it says what they are is five small <laughs> south facing windows at Boltwood. Yeah, I would say we should in there. We should also write that there is access to electricity in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that you know for illumination and there was some motion there once. I think if I remember right. Yep. God, it seems we like the art. This sounds this sounds so ugly. I I feel like I need some wording here. Well, but I I mean the reality is someone's going to have to go take a look at it anyway. I am not sure we should labor over it's, the it's, language yeah. quite this much. I mean I think this is more accurate than it was before, and yeah. maybe we even put in the description. Okay, you know, I got it. Art artists encouraged to visit the site. <laughs> right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've got so what it says in the Boltwood Plaza. Wait, say it again, Mikey. Sorry. Okay. It says the portal gallery consists of five small south facing windows on the head house above Boltwood Garage. Small, slower. I'm not that fast. Ah. Portal gallery consists of five. Keep going. Small south facing windows on the head house. Head one word. Head what? house. Head house. What the hell yep. is a head house? People okay. are going to think it's a head toilet, house. One word above <laughs> Boltwood Garage. Okay, uh, went on the head house at the entrance. Nope, above Boltwood Garage. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, Shoshona, wasn't there something about uh, winter time or some issue about? Did I hear you say that at the yeah, previous? Yeah, they fog. Yeah. Like originally there was, it was like these iPads that were put in there or so it was actually like a predecessor to an iPad, I think even. And there was like this poetry and like the first time there was a hard freeze, they all died and they just sat there as like these dead iPads <laughs> for like 10 years. And then, um, you know, just a couple years ago, we revamped it and put yeah. in this new stuff and started it so up again the guy that they had in there after the the one the first one it says was called the poem windows and those are the ones she's shoshan is talking about and the one after that was um benjamin coden cowden c-o-w-d-e-n was yeah, the first one to display work so are there any images yeah. i mean i'm yeah. so glad that robert gave us this, this um <laughs> this um video but is are there any photos that of old like pro projects? I don't I don't have. It would be great if we could have like some kind of a picture to show people where this is. I'll I'm assuming like I... we have like um when we talk about our assets for the town of Amherst for public art. I'm assuming we have pictures. Oh, there's a picture. You got a picture, Mikey. All right, cool. Send that to me. Send it to yeah. you. Okay. I need that. I need that picture, and I need that call for the minutes, please. Mm -hmm. Send the picture, boy. Okay, now that's my thing. All right, I am gonna share this with all of you so that you can give me more okay. information. I think, unfortunately, there's some infrastructural challenges in, in the uh, <laughs> in the gallery. That's an understatement, Robert. Oh my God! 
extra well, I couldn't I couldn't get close enough to the windows to peer in because every moving from window to window to window, I was consi consistently dripped upon by the <laughs> the melting snow from the rooftop. Wow. And I thought this is a problem. <laughs> Maybe we should say require uh, use incorporate umbrellas into your artwork. Yeah, we should we should make sure there's an umbrella stand nearby. Is the award amount accurate? I don't think so. I no, don't. Uh, the well, amount. in the um, in in this thing, it said two thousand, but Shoshana mm. said three, right? Whoa. No, um, the grant amount was for two thousand. Oh, 2000. Well, okay. yeah, that's what the article said. So we're putting it for the entire 2000 or is there some like uh, other? Last time we we kept some of the money for um, entertainment for- Well, the also if we have to buy paint, it, I mean, it says that we, 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 we give them the paint and we also have no. to- Oh, okay. This is, no. must, this is pretty old then. I, I, I did find this like from 2009, I think. <laughs> I uh, think that's when it was the um, poem portals. Okay. That's when it was called that. I don't know what the paint is for, but there is a sign. So the sign would probably be redone, right? But somebody has right. to there, create there a was sign. A, there was a sign there yeah, yeah. that described what the uh, the work was. Carrie, what's your address? I mean, your email? <clears throat> T-L-H-O-L-T at gmail.com. Okay, thanks. I'll send it to you first. Just. Thank Let me know if you get it. Okay. So, so okay. So we the, don't give them special concrete provided by the commission then. No, we could get, get rid of that entire media thing, like <clears throat> that under specifications, that whole okay. media thing to just be gone. Okay. Um, uh, I picked a, a theme. You all can, we can decide on something else. I just came up with this. We can decide on this. Um, Celebrating the people and businesses of downtown Amherst. I that's I thought that was an idea, but we can certainly come up with a different one. Um, and uh, I put no religious, political, or commercial proposals will be accepted. That seemed appropriate. And uh, as far as the judging, I'm assuming we would be the people judging. So just our commission. Mm -hmm. um, and then winning proposals will be presented to the select board because that's kind of a thing. It's a public place, so they probably have to approve. Um, I don't know the cost of the signage that, so I don't, I'm not sure what the award should be. If it's a $2,000 grant, what does it cost to put up a sign? I'm really not sure. Yeah, I don't know about the select board thing. I don't think they've got enough time in their schedule to be looking at this kind of stuff. Really? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I think I would take that out too. Okay. Ugh. All right. Uh, I'm assuming just for like consistency. Uh, for consistency, should it be the Amherst Public Art Commission, since we referred to as public yes. art at yes. the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. So in this one article that I have about the gentleman who had the poems on the windows. Um, there was an information thing on the wall uh, when he did it. So okay. it looked like that. So that all that information went to you. Okay. So yeah, there's still um, a, there's still a sign up there now. For, yeah. But I couldn't there tell is. if there's actually any art in there. Huh. I couldn't <laughs> either. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Should we talk to DPW about taking that down? Does DPW do that? Well, I think once we get the new artist, okay. we would put it in that space. Okay. It's a little, it tells who the artist is who did the stuff for the portals. So okay. I think it's a little space for that. All right. So right now, the submission requirements specifies paintings. Right. It shouldn't oh, be okay. paintings. Okay. It should just be anything because you can do all kinds of really cool things at that portal. Okay, so the design it could be a video. It could be right. eye catching, colorful works of art. Did yep. I take? I took down. I did take painting. Okay. Yeah, because the so, guy who did install be, um, the Ben Cowden, he did like this kinetic art sort of thing with like kind of integrating. Um, the viewer in with the projects with these different things. 
and it okay. was like like toys too it was it was very fun i have Maybe a could have kept I have, it. I have a question about uh, in terms of the statement about the design celebrating the people and businesses of downtown we hammers we can totally change this as a commission i just came up with something yeah, yeah i yeah. Well, that would be commercial. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't even know. I understand what political means, but I don't know what religious means. Religious? religious. I think if we had people um, submitting art uh, with uh, crosses, et cetera, that might be um, considered religious and inappropriate. Where does it say religious? It says no religious political. <coughs> oh, I see it. I don't know that you can say that like that, because it it's it's censoring content in a very like vague way. It's a good way to get into a political furor, whether you can yeah. or not. Okay. I think so. We, okay. So I think what we should do is not say it, but then do it. Okay. Okay, so I uh, changed the first part, celebrates the people of downtown Amherst. That could be changed or just that's plenty. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's sufficient without the okay. businesses of downtown Amherst. Right. Okay. And then our dimensions, I, that's what I found. I don't know if this is correct. We'll have to <laughs> go with a measuring tape, I think. And then we have eye catching colorful works of art. Uh, take this out. Um, I mean, oh, this does it even, don't need does this it even necessarily have to celebrate the people of downtown Amherst? No. I mean, no. it, oh. I don't know. It could be celebrating Amherst. It could be. Do we want to come up? This is part of the strategic just, planning that I look what forward to. What about just eye-catching colorful works of art? So what I do think we say in, good. Our first, in our first yeah. sentence? If I recall then? correctly, they put that stuff in about the people and business for uh, the, for the public relations I, purposes. Yeah. I, I I guess I don't understand the public I think you could I, I think you could just take it out and, actually and just end the sentence at you know a, a unique installation. Right. I think that's at, at the Amherst Center Boltwood Garage. And so the <laughs> unique installation is what we're looking for, something interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Okay. That's good. And right. Right. Leaves it I think more in the Robert the asked, artist. or somebody asked for it to be consistent. So the it, in the specifications, mm -hmm. the first unbolded part would be the public Amherst Art ah. Public Art Commission. Public Amherst right. Amherst, yeah. Amherst Public, public Art, Art Commission. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. But then that same that same sentence, it would just be colorful works of art. Right. Period. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know why colorful has to be. I mean, I, That's I, true. I, if I someone wants to do black like, and white photography, or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think mean, eye catching is fine. Eng we lose out know, on I would engaging. Yeah. If eye catching or engaging, I think eight, engaging. Yeah. Okay. Is that better? Are we good right mm -hmm. now? We have. And then under submission requirements, sketch a proposed sketch a proposed artwork, art, artwork. to scale with dimensions, narrative, mm -hmm. and a form. Yeah, okay. Award is uh, we say fifteen hundred. Yeah, yeah I think we can say fifteen hundred, and we'll have to do it. We'll, um, there will be need, need to be a description okay. put on the wall. <clears throat> And then I put the deadline of May 14th so we can get them paid before June. Mm -hmm. uh, Shoshona, uh, just I'm the, putting the comma between the one and the five I, as a finance you got question. It. I just have to insist on that. Thank you, you got it. <laughs> um, Shoshona, um, do we have to have it paid out by June 1st or by the end of the financial year, which should be the end of June? Because um, the new said, fiscal year starts July 1. July 1. Yeah, they just said like, by the end of spring, which I interpreted as the, um, you know, summer solstice <laughs> being the okay. deadline. 
um, <laughs> I will contact them for a little harder of a of a date. Okay. Okay. And you can tell me that when we have our meeting. So is our email Amherst Arts Commission at gmail.com? Yes. Okay, not Amherst Public Arts Commission. It, for now. Okay. I, I made a new one, but I, I I haven't quite decided to put it out there just yet because I mm -hmm. still have stuff in the old one. So okay, application mm -hmm. form, name, address, telephone, email address, and then in the bottom part here. Um they can also this is I guess the mailbox that we'll have to check. <laughs> um this whole if you wish to have your materials returned. Uh, I don't know if we need that. Do we need, do we need that? Yeah, if they want it returned, they have to have a self-addressed stamped envelope. Yeah, that's in good if they want it back. So here's that thing where we're trying to make things equitable. Um, we need to have an online form and also a, a way for people to send in their applications in person if they don't have you know, computer access. So this is what I'm, this is trying to accomplish. Uh, I wouldn't mind making an online form for this, like we're doing for the making it public, but I don't know if that's something that we should do or or if we just go with this. This is very simple. It might be too simple because people really want to do an online form, a lot of folks, but then yeah. also having this as well for people who don't have computers. So I, I'm not sure what you, what you all think. I would do both. Yeah, have one online and have one that we can go to the Jones Library and pick up. So to make it online, is that something I would put? I would ask our person on the who does the the website. I don't even know yet um, to create one, or would I make one on Google Forms and just put in a URL here that says "Go here to fill out the form." What are other organizations doing in Amherst for their calls and information? Are, is everyone else doing forms? We do in Arlington. We we do a lot of Google Forms. Is that something that's still appropriate here in Amherst? Google Forms. Or I feel, I feel like it's different for every project that I've done. Okay. You know, so I can't I can't really say if there's some sort of like, you know, standard thing. I kind of right. wish there was, you know. Has any of the ways you've done it seem better? I gather we can't get anything on the town website. We can't get town email or anything like that. So um I'm I'm used to doing Google Forms for calls. That's something or or you could say uh contact us at Amherst Art Commission for an application and we send them. Are you, I'm not really sure what to do. Pick up so somewhere in here. We need to say where they get this application, right? Right. Right. Yeah, you can pick it up at, at pick it up at the at the library, and we'll make copies and, and bring it to the library. Is that what we can do? Yeah, if they'll agree. Well, to can that. we not? Well, Sorry, Central Clerk. Clerk. Go ahead, Robert. Could we not post it as a PDF on? I mean, so that people can download it. I can we can we do that to the onto the our our commission website? Can we ask them to do that? Uh, that's what I would recommend. Okay, I I do not know the people yet at the at who do the town of Amherst website. I don't even know who to talk to. So Shona, I'm sure you do. Uh, my first line of defense is always talk to Angela. <laughs> Um, talk to who if she can't do it she knows who can angela oh, angela, angela mills. mills okay all right so i'll ask angela that okay. i ask why we're changing the name of the amherst public arts commission and our various things did i mess it up again somewhere no we we're calling ourselves that i thought i saw somewhere amherst art commission we fixed it we did that was a mistake yep it was except for the email it's okay. that's the only place it's not fixed Okay, yeah. Sorry. Right. Okay. Well, this is the email we have right now, but I'm, I'm, I'd, yeah, I'd like we're to change changing that, it, but yeah, we haven't done it yet. Yes. Okay. So otherwise, this looks okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you for working with that with me. That's great. I'm going to 
I now have shared this with all of you in your emails so that you have a copy of it. And we will uh, go forward with this when we talk on March 20th. And so we'll have that. No, sorry, April 3rd. We will we will vote on this. OK. Yep. Yes, Robert. Um, I don't want to uh, extend the meeting any longer than it needs to be. And maybe this can be a conversation for when we talk more about the project. But, um, you know, having visited the site, um, if one doesn't know it's there, you're not going to know it's there. Um, and I, I think if we're really going to promote this project, um, you know, I, I think it's it's worth talking about how to um, how to figure out how to get people to actually see it. You know, because right. um, it's it's just not well. Um, <laughs> the last time we had a party, and it was a pretty well attended party, like an opening uh -huh. ceremony kind of that thing. It was the middle of a pandemic, right? Right, but after after the party, um, I mean, how how long will the installation be up? What's what's the uh, what's the time frame? I can't remember. Is it a year or how long is this usually up, Shoshana? Uh, well, we only did it the one time, and it was up for I think four months, maybe. That's it. Right. Oh. Yeah, it was a very very um, short. Okay. But again, and maybe this is more in the context of the strategic plan too, but it's just, yeah, you know, that that walkway that I, I sent the photo of, it it is a walkway. At first I thought it was just an alley, but it, I think it is was intended as a walkway because there's a big lamp there. Mm -hmm. And the sight line is directly to the portal gallery. If you're standing on Main Street looking toward the parking lot, you're staring right there. And it just seems like, you know, those walls have the potential to be murals or something that's going to engage murals. engage someone who's walking down Main Street to want to make a left turn there and walk down that walkway and end up at the portal gallery. So I, I just think that, you know, figuring out yeah. with the restaurants, well, what, what, what are they going to do with their dumpsters or can, <laughs> can someone create a structure to cover the dumpsters that can be painted on you know it just seems like there's an opportunity there and maybe this is something to talk with um gabrielle gould about with the bid um yes that just seems um, that's that seems like a waste definitely. of space so, I mean, yeah it's just the really yeah. narrow hall gal i mean it's the really narrow walkway yeah. really really narrow and no it's not that narrow no it's actually yeah it was actually, day, it's um, <laughs> the planning department when we were doing this project it was actually hand in hand with the planning department they were like revitalizing that area but they wound up like cutting it way short than um than they had planned because like they were supposed to be putting in like all these new um like shades and um picnic tables and stuff like that and like there's this whole plan and i'm not sure whatever happened to like that whole thing but uh -huh. like it would be worth it if anyone was interested in like you know really taking on the revitalizing to see if like you could shake that tree again and find out from the planning department like what happened like what because like it was supposed to be part of that you know they put in that new ramp back there and um it was supposed to be part of that project but it turned into just the ramp and not not the space in front of the portal gallery and that alleyway. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. It would be a great space to to have some signage and even just you know, to say you know, go this way for the Boltwood Gallery. Mm. Um, and it was yeah. a, it'd be a fantastic place for murals, and that's something I really want to kickstart is getting some more murals in this town. They're really they're huge all over the place. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, we need we need we need some some murals. I love murals. Go, go in the school. Go in the high school. Oh yeah, we've got a mural uh, going in right now. That's awesome. I think we should yeah. probably do some kind of a um, a survey to our town and ask if people are interested in in a mural project so that we can gain get interest 
And that way we can go in front of the FinCom and say, hey, we need money because people want murals and, uh, you know, write some grants. We used to have murals um, on the yeah. backside well, of the- Well, working um, more with the BID is going to be good for that too, because yeah. the BID has right. got a mural project that they've been um, cooking for a while too. That's very exciting. Okay. Um, anybody else on, or anything else on this project? We good? All right. So looking at our agenda- Shoshona, we're are we are we good? Yeah, we're good. Love to let people go. I'm thank you so much for all your time, guys. I know this was a longer one. I'm I'm respectful of your time. I don't want to let you get back to your your lives. Shoshona, I I let's talk about scheduling. And in the meantime, we're just really grateful for all the work you've done for the commission. And we're so sorry to see you leaving, kind of leaving. <laughs> and please. Please come back anytime you want to hang out with us. <laughs> okay. Pick your brain. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah, I'll send you an email. Bye, okay. everybody. All right. Thank, Thank you, you everyone. Bye. 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 Have a good few weeks. See you soon. Bye. Bye. We're adjourning. Yeah, I guess we are. We're adjourning. Yep. 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 Adjourning. Oh, I guess we should have done the whole voting for, to adjourn. The time. It will be in the minutes. I seconded it. 43, we adjourned. All in favor, yeah. yes. All in previous. All good. Yes. Okay. Thank Bye. you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.